So this term, quote unquote, abortifacient contraception is very misleading. A lot of you may be inclined to think, oh, if I take the morning after pill, that's gonna give me an abortion, right? That's not what this, that's not what this means, okay? What it means is it interferes with the implantation process. So here's the cycle. You have fertilization right here. So that's where life begins, right? And then it travels down the uterine tract, and then boom, day eight, nine, that's when it implants here into the wall of the uterus. Some contraceptives might interfere with this process, okay? But after this process, there is a, there is like, I couldn't find any reliable evidence that any contraceptives work after this point. So anything that narrows the uterine tube here, you, what it'll do is it'll slow down this fertilized egg, potentially, and then it will die somewhere in here and not able to implant. Or it will come down here, it will try to implant, but the wall of the uterus has been thinned by the hormones that have been taken in the pill. Uh, people will often say like, the pill does this, the pill does that. What is the pill? There are at least four different things that this refers to, so I'm gonna break it down for you real quick. So first you have this, which is mifepristone, that's the abortion pill. This will give you an abortion on account of it being called the abortion pill. Do not use this as contraceptive. It's not indicated for that, okay? The other uh, one that's called the pill is the morning after pill. Um, and this is emergency contraceptive. It is designed, and its mechanism of action is to uh, clamp down and prevent ovulation, okay? That's how it's designed to work. It also has secondary effects which thickens the cervical mucus so that the sperm cells that are like swimming, trying to get to the egg, that they will get tired and die. Like if you hear the term spermicide, that's what that is, okay? Uh, this is the combo pill, which is, this is a contraceptive pill. This is the one that you take every day. It's progestin and estrogen. Um, and so if you remember from earlier with all the hormone levels and whatnot, uh, it, by elevating the levels of progester or synthetic progesterone and synthetic estrogen, it keeps a woman from ovulating, okay? And then lastly, you have what are called the mini pill, which is progestin only. So it's only, it's only the progestin, it's not the estrogen, okay? Now, what this does not work, its primary mechanism of action is not to suppress ovulation. It's to make the uterus and uh, the vaginal canal hostile to sperm. But the thing is that making it hostile to sperm makes it hostile to eggs. So if you have a breakthrough ovulation, and then if you have a breakthrough fertilization, there is a non-zero probability that the egg will either die uh, in transport or it will die in the uterus. So that's what people are talking about, okay? Now, like I said, this is definitely abortifacient. Of the evidence available, the strongest evidence for being a quote-unquote abortifacient contraceptive is the progestin-only pill. There is some evidence, but it's mostly theoretical for these two, okay? I can give you citations for this if you, if you really wanna go down that rabbit hole, okay? Does that answer your question? Good, excellent. Any other questions?